to make a one six scale tree you can do it a lot of different ways you can uh, just make it straight up from foil and wire but you always have to put some kind of base I always put some kind of base like cut this and then wire it down to the bottom so you can stick it in foam or whatever you're for the base but you can use this entire tube you can use a uh, PVC pipe whatever you want for the trunk If you need a really sturdy one, then I just use something to hold it in like this wood clamp. You're going to need uh, <clears throat> all kinds of various types of wire. And then uh, you're gonna, if you want foliage, you just get some foliage, whatever you're looking for. And there's different ways I attach it, but most of the time I'm just using 30 gauge wire to hold it in place these you just kind of have to I just twist it around the trunk uh, limb I make or the trunk and these will stick out look like they're growing some of them you might want to cut off or whatever and then you wrap the, the 30 gauge wire around it and it'll look like it's growing out of a tree you gotta have a bunch of different types of uh, stuff to cut it with and twist it on there and you might want to use some uh, quarter inch screws to screw the wire into the actual base of this to hold it in place if you got a big limb somewhere or something. Then uh, after you wrap all your wire, making all your limbs and stuff, and you're using foil, there's a couple different kinds I use. I use the real thick like uh, grilling foil for trunk and thick limbs, and then I use this thinner stuff to wrap around uh, some smaller limbs or whatever. And then I use floral tape to wrap, bear, uh, wrap it to, not generally in the places where I want the trunk to be really uh, thick with bark or whatever. But a lot of times the, the limbs I'll wrap with these, the smaller limbs, and try to hide the uh, the wire you know because it'll just it's it's hard to cover up after you uh, get it on there with this latex rubber you're gonna paint the paint it like three times with this to get a really good effect I mean you can paint it more or less whatever you want but that's what works for me I use these little I get these little cups from eating out or whatever and I put a washer on them just tape it so I can put on a magnet, like so, to put my <clears throat> rubber latex in. Because the rubber latex, it's it's pretty thick at points, and it'll just lift your cup right up. So this helps, and it holds all my different stuff. I can just pick this up, move it wherever I want it, wherever I'm working. It's all right there for me. Okay, right here, what I'm doing is got a vacuum tube that I was going to throw away a year or so ago and I saved it. I'm making a wrapped wire. I didn't attach it real good yet because I don't know exactly how high it has to be yet. I'm going to make this a really fat limb. Wrapped wire here. Now I'm putting aluminum foil. I use that heavy duty aluminum foil for uh, grilling out or whatever. I'm gonna make this limb really thick and I'll show you why. Okay, so this is the front window view. And as you go here, you'll see that like the trees are topped off. So I wanna be able to hide that with a big limb sticking out from this tree that's like right on the edge that you won't, you'll just see this side of it. And then if somebody looks up, it'll be topped off. I got other ones, I got ideas how to cover them up. But basically it's just a big hoax. Okay, so basically what I do is I just um, cut a wire. This is pretty thick stuff, copper wire, because I want this limb to be really strong. 
just going to wrap around here. And I like to go the same, always the same way. Just make sure it's really tight. I want this limb to be strong. This is actually the third time I wrapped the wire around. This way, when I get up here, I can make a lamb or whatever I want extra. Tight. I keep putting layers of uh, aluminum foil on there. I want it really thick. And once I get here, if you want, you can make some kind of line here. Not for sure how I'm gonna get this not to move around, but I'll come up with some. Might just drill a screw in there. By the time I'm done, I'll have this all wrapped up, and then I'll put a latex rubber on it, and probably give it a few coats, and then it pretty much won't go anywhere. Okay, so here's how I fatten up some limbs. Just take four. I like it to go like that because they're gonna go. The limbs gonna get thinner as it goes up. See, if you try to go in the same direction always, it'll fill these like this. And the wire won't be so obvious through the foil. Kind of just filling those gaps in. And you can thicken it up more and more. I'm gonna wrap more around this. I hope I don't have too many layers to go, but I really want this to be a thick lens. So. And sturdy. It's pretty sturdy. 